can sail faster than the wind. And I'd like to show you how they can do that today. The very first sailing vessels used a sail that just caught the wind. Now the wind is invisible, so I brought my little telltale here to show you that these fans are blowing the air, creating a wind in this direction. And when that wind hits this square rigged sail, it bulges out in the forward direction to show you it's being pushed on. So the sailboat can go downwind. This square rigged sailboat, however, has great difficulty sailing close to the wind, into the wind. In fact, you can see that as it tries to do that, the sail is bulging the other way, indicating that the force pushes it backwards. Well, sailors are clever people, and they worked for many years and came up with a different sail design. This is how you probably think of a sailboat, a fabric sail curving around to a beautiful shape. And that sailboat can not only sail perpendicular to the wind, it can sail into the wind. How can that be? Well, if we track what the wind is doing, it comes into this sail, and when the sailor sets the sail right, the wind curves around the sail on the inside and the outside. In order to take that invisible wind, which I'll represent by this white arrow, which is coming this way, and to bend it around the corner to exit that way, there has to be a force exerted by the sail on that wind. And I've represented the force by this orange arrow. It has to push the wind this way to curve it around. Well, Isaac Newton created the law of action and reaction. If the sail is exerting a force on the wind this way, the wind exerts a force on the sail that way. And part of this force is in the forward direction. So the force can push the boat into the wind. There is a slight problem, however. If this boat were frictionless, say it was on ice, the forces in this direction, the boat would just move in that direction. It would go sideways. To prevent that, boats have keels. It's a large extension of the hull below the water, which can't move easily sideways in the water. The America's Cup boats have dagger boards, which stick down into the water. That allows the boat to use the force of the wind to go into the wind. Well, that is very much what the wing of an airplane does. When the wing of the airplane moves through the air, it deflects air downward, which provides lift so the airplane flies. It's only a short step to go from thinking about the soft sail as a wing to thinking about a wing sail. And that's what the America's Cup has done. Here is a boat in which the fa soft fabric sail has been replaced by a stiff wing sail. By bending this sail, I can create a very nice wing shape that can sail into the wind quite nicely. And it can also sail downwind or across the wind much faster than the wind speed. A wing creates lift by deflecting air around which exerts a force on the wing, which propels the wing sailboat forward. And that's the essence of the America's Cup.